right here with Eric Jenkins, ahead of the BAA 5K. We haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? Um, I, I've been training pretty well uh, recently. I had a, a bit of a nagging um, Achilles injury um, in the winter, so kind of just bad timing with that. So um, just wanted to get a good hard effort in here before heading off to training camp for the, for the outdoor season. Okay. When, yeah. Where do you go for training camp? After this, I'm going to head to Flagstaff and then Park City. Awesome. Yeah. Um, the Achilles, that was the reason uh, you dropped out of Milrose? Yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of sprung up right before then. Um, so I just kind of, just overall bad timing for the indoor season. So I didn't want to um, risk anything coming back too quick. And so it's been a while since I said race, so I wanted to kind of get a, a good hard rust buster in. It's a great field, um, fast course it seems like. So that's it's kind of a good opportunity to, to get back into the racing mindset. Do you feel uh, a little nervous to come out and race again? Um, not too much. I mean, I guess talk to me in the morning. We'll see how it goes from there. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually just looking forward to, to getting back out there and seeing kind of where I'm at. Yeah. So Milrose was a while ago. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How long do you feel like you've been at training at full effort? Do you feel like you're completely back now? Yeah, I, I'm actually. I'm. I'm fitness is pretty good, um, but it, it, there's a big difference between being fit and, and racing fit. So. Um, we'll see. I, I, uh, it's been a while, so it might take uh, it might take some time to shake off the cobwebs. But uh, fitness is good, so I'm happy. I'm happy with where things are. Yeah. And um, have you been uh, back east, living and training? Yeah, I've actually um, I've been um, back home in Portsmouth for a while. Um, I've done a lot of training there. I've been kind of splitting up the. We spend so much time at training camps and um, in Oregon and wherever. Park City, St. Moritz, so it's good to, I'm actually been really excited to do a lot of training back back east, and hopefully it uh, has prepared me well for, for tomorrow. Yeah, who, who do you train with up there? When I'm home, it's basically just me, actually. Um, so, but then once I get with the group, it's obviously, it's obviously a whole different situation, so... It's kind of, it's, I like it. It's, it's nice to break it up, nice to switch things up every now and then so I don't get too used to any one thing. Yeah, right. I, I think I read somewhere that, you know, you kind of going home to recharge a little bit and training is also, that's why Centro kind of went back to yeah. this area. Yeah. I mean, we spend so much time, you know, together at, during the training camps and for most of the racing season. So it's not like we're, we're really doing anything. Um, I don't need anyone looking over my shoulder for most of these easier workouts, but I do need someone there pushing me um, for the workouts that really matter. So I've been, it's a, it's a bit of a different year and we kind of, um, it allowed for that being an off year, no championship racing. So it's, uh, I'm excited, I'm excited with, with how things have been going. Yeah. Do you have a big targets for the summer? It's a little different. Cause yeah, I don't have any, um, as far as, I've just been trying to, to get into really good races. Um, and obviously run fast, I would love to, to get in a really fast 5K. I, I think, um, you know, I, I think I was around, you know, 13 flat shape last year. Um, and it'd be amazing to, t to try and get into a really fast 5K and do something special there. Did you, uh, did you watch World of Indoors? I did, yeah. What did you think of... Uh Paul Cholino and Shadrach and all the DQs. How do you think you would have reacted as an athlete? Um, I've been, I've I've had some tough DQs myself, so um, I know what they're going through. But yeah, I mean, it is it is weird to see to see all that. Um, I guess it kind of um, makes you stay on your toes a little bit, you know, for for championship racing and. Um, Realize they're not really gonna get let you get away with anything. It was it was weird. It, it seems like it was also um, a lot of flexibility, not flexibility, but like it was their call, you know. So if it was in a different area, you know, it like seems like the rules kind of bend a little bit depending on where you are, I guess. Um, so yeah, it really sucks. You know, Chalimo and Shadrach, they had great indoor seasons, so it sucks that they, it had to end for them like that. Yeah. Um, did you? Did you picture yourself being there? I mean, ideally, 
would you have tried to go to the indoor team? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, a world that uh, indoors is fun. I love indoors. Um, and you know, getting the chance to represent um, USA is always for it's always the goal when when you're able to for that season. So that would have been um, if I was healthy and things have been rolling well. That would have been. After this, I'm gonna head to Flag. Okay. Yeah. And how long are you guys there? Until um, Peyton Jordan, okay. and then um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there yet. But that's always a good a good opportunity to to get back on track. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks.